Um, you know, I beginning of the year we, you know, like I said yesterday, or yesterday we were picked for, to finish last in the Big 12, and uh, so we've always kind of played with a chip on our shoulder this year, just trying to, you know, just stay within ourselves and play our baseball. And uh, you know, we didn't really think about it much. We we knew that it would be a cool matchup for them to get to do, but you know, we we wanted to get in the way, and so we just we just tried to get in the way. Well, you know, I I, I think that. Um we're kind of in a different situation than Kentucky was. You know, he had an opportunity to match up his bull, his his starters against our right-handed hitters, and you know, my models have five left-handed hitters in our lineup, and we only have two. Okay, so that tells you how good a job I did at recruiting. All right, so <laughs> so uh, uh, you know, I, I know that Coach Anderson looked at our our, our right-handed dominant lineup and used his right-handers, and if I and he used three of his best guys today to try to negate our right-handed lineup. Uh, uh, I wasn't surprised at all when he saved the left-hander for tomorrow. You know, and I certainly didn't take any offense to it. If, if it, for us, and I and I was quoted saying this yesterday, you know, we have three quality guys. We don't have a superstar like like him who's going to be the national player of the year. We're going our best guy pitches tomorrow, and then the kid that pitches on Sunday has our best arm on our program. His command isn't quite as good as the other two guys. So, for me, when you, it was there was never a doubt about who we were going to pitch. We were just going to stay in our normal routine and run them out there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and. You know, it's it is difficult. You know, when you stop and go and stop and go, you got to warm your body back up after every time you stop. But uh, you know, once it's game time, you, you check it in. You want to check it in. You want to just battle and you want to be prepared as much as you can, even after sitting in the locker room for you know over three hours today. But it's a long day, and I just thought our guys did a great job just getting their themselves ready to go and competing at the plate. We were just listening to some music, talking story with each other, uh, just really talking about the season and how close we are as a team and. It just took incredible. We had great le senior leadership on our team. So when those three different times where it was time to get back on the field, they all stepped up and said, you know, uh, cut the games. It's time to get serious and get back on the field. So that was nice. Uh, I mean, uh, he sent me down and he told me he was going to give me a clean inning. So I kind of knew once we went in a rain delay that he might send Jordan back out. And then once, I mean, they told us it was going to be over 30 minutes, he came to me and he was like, all right, game's in your hands now. You know, just go out there and just, you got to put up zeros. And I mean, we preach that as a pitching staff. When you come in, game on the line, you got to put up zeros and put your team in a position to win. So, I mean, that's all he told me to do, and that's all I wanted to do. I, I think the great thing about our guys is is that we don't have any superstars on our team, and we've had some in the past. And we have five guys playing in the big leagues right now, so we've had some really good players come from the University of Kansas when I've been there. Uh, and I've had a lot better teams than this one. We've had some teams as good as that Kentucky team is offensively. We have to compete and grind and execute in order to be good. And and I think when you have a team that doesn't have any superstars, you come out and you try to do all the little things it takes to win today. And, you know, we we threw off the guy at the dish on a really good play. We turned a double play. We executed our in-between bunt with runners at first and third for an RBI. We put the sacrifice bunt down, got a two-out RBI. And that inning, we got two-out hits. Uh, we did all the little things that we have to do to win because we can't turn one pitch around. We had a three-run double or a three-run homer. So for us, that, that's about as good as we could play today and execute today. Sure did. I mean, you look at that line score, and he's got three hits today and three RBIs, and he was a big-time player. And you could make the statement at the end of the game, he was the best player on the field today. And I think any time you upset somebody that's in the top 25, uh, like Kentucky is, somebody has to have a special day for you. And to, for us today, that was Tucker Tharp.